Hey everybody, this is Kristen Brooks, here to help you understand CBD and break the stigma through education. I spent 15 years interpreting and presenting clinical information as a genomic cancer specialist. I'm a certified CBD consultant and founder of the Healthy Not High movement. If you're watching this video, you're probably wondering if CBD can really help you feel better, how to start taking CBD, if CBD is really safe and legal, or if CBD is just another fad. The answer is yes, and no, and yes. The answer is that CBD is a completely new frontier of medical science. All data is preclinical data at this stage. The product landscape is unregulated, and stay tuned for many more answers. CBD works for many people, but not for others, and the reason for that might be product quality or dosing related. We don't exactly know yet. We do know that the right stuff is expensive and sometimes needs ample time in the body to go to work. So if you're not prepared to invest and be compliant, I say don't waste your time or money yet. In other words, there's just no way to know if or how CBD will work for you without trying it. Important fact, most products on the market being sold commercially do not contain the amount of CBD advertised. Some have too little, some have too much, some have none at all, and some have more THC than advertised. So it's important to source your CBD from a company that does third-party lab testing. More on that later. I'm not sure if it's for you or not, but CBD isn't going away. Let's get to some cool science stuff. For those of you who don't know what CBD stands for, it stands for cannabidiol or cannabinoid. It's a naturally occurring chemical compound found in plants like echinacea, flax, and of course, hemp. But plants are not the only source. CBD also exists in the body. It can even be found in breast milk. Many researchers contend that CBD plays a critical role in early childhood development. CBD is one of 60 plus cannabinoid compounds found in the cannabis plants. Tetrahydrocannabinol, THC, is the most well-known cannabinoid and is associated with marijuana's psychoactive properties. Unlike THC, CBD does not cause a high effect and can offer relief and benefits without disconcerting feelings of lethargy and dysphoria. Cannabis plants are separated into two different types of crops, known as hemp and marijuana. Their sister plants, they don't totally look alike and they differ in their cannabinoid ratios. But both hemp and marijuana can be used to produce CBD products. Hemp contains a very high amount of CBD content. Marijuana contains a low amount of CBD content. For maximum health benefits, you want to source your CBD from hemp, not from marijuana. And with no more than the legal limit of 0.3% THC content, which increases the efficacy of CBD, that topic to be continued. Without lab testing, it is impossible to detect CBD or THC levels in any product but most products available are not lab tested. Lab testing is expensive. The Hemp Farm Act of 2018 established that CBD from hemp is legal throughout the United States. This removed any federal ambiguity about hemp's legality and reinforced hemp's place in research. Once again, CBD-rich hemp is free to be an appealing treatment option for patients seeking anti-inflammatory, anti-pain, anti-anxiety, and or anti-spasm effects without any feelings of dysphoria, euphoria, or lethargy. That's it for this week. Hopefully some of this was helpful. For the rest of you, stay tuned. I'll be tackling a ton of other topics, interviews with thought leaders and medical professionals, and simplifying a labyrinth of info. If you have questions or a topic you'd like me to address, leave it in the comments below and hit me up on Facebook and Instagram. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it when I do talk about it. And as always, you'll want to consult a medical cannabis provider. I'm a certified CBD consultant. I have 18 years experience in the medical industry, but I do not give medical advice, make medical claims, and will not consult on matters relating to cancer or seizures.